today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy S3 and install Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. As you can see, I'm on 4.1. This is all stock. It's TouchWiz, which this is the Nova launcher. All right. First, you want to do is download these files. I'm going to have the link to the files in the description. First, you want to download Odin. Make sure you have Odin. After you have the files downloaded, what you want to do is run Odin. You want to go down here to PDF. PDF. And you want to search wherever you download the files and find the tar file. Which mine's in the holding folder. Now, what you want to do is power the Galaxy 3 Galaxy S3 off. <clears throat> like so. Hold, I think it's the up button and the power button and the home button at the same time. When it vibrates, let the um, power button go. Actually, no, it's the bottom button. Why well, you see it is a stock recovery. Hold the bottom button, power button, and home button. And you will be in download mode. What you want to do is hit the up button to continue. What you want to do now is plug it in. Want to go to the computer. And you want to hit the start. Now basically just let it do its thing. And it's done. Your phone should restart. Now you're going to want to put Clockwork Mod Super SU on your SD card. Then you're going to want to power the phone off again. And this is the T-Mobile version, by the way. You're going to want to hold that up, unplug it, hold the up button, power button and home button, to have bright rates. Let the power button go. And should boot into recovery. <clears throat> now
now you want to you're going to want to go to install from zip which is the second one down you can't really see on the camera hit the power button it's on my um, SD card so choose some SD card you want to go down to it and hit the power button again now go down to yes install then you want to go back when it's done reboot uh, you're going to want to go download I recommend downloading the ROM manager Recovery setup. Go on update it. Click your phone, which is a pop up. And there you have it, your phone's been rooted. Now, you're going to want to go to, uh, you can do it on your phone, just open your browser. And go to git.cm. Basically, you want to go over here and find your phone. I have the T-Mobile one, so click the T-Mobile. <coughs> then basically, you go to the top. It's the newest one. It's the nightly. It's nightly bills. So basically, they update it daily, and you can basically update your ROM daily. Just on the download. Now, what you want to do is go. You're gonna to need to get the um, Google Apps. Now you're gonna to want to go to g o o dot i m slash g apps. Basically, you're gonna to want to look for San Jose Mod 10.1 which is Android 4.2 just download the one at the top, it's the newest one and then the load and it should start downloading There you have it. Change your mod is still downloading, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, now that I have the Google Apps and CM10, I'm backed up. 
with Titanium Backup Pro. Go ahead and install this. What I'm going to do is go into RAW Manager. Go to RAW Manager. And first, what I recommend you do is back up the current ROM. And I'm going to change the name, and then I'm going to name it Stock. So I know it's the stock ROM. And it's going to reboot and it's going to back up. Okay, after you're done backing the ROM up, what you want to do is go back into the recovery. And you want to go to wipe data, factory reset, and delete all the user data. Once that's done, you want to wipe the cache. Now, you want to go to install zip from SD card, choose from SD card, go to wherever you download. If you download your phone, it should be in a download folder. Install the CM10 first. Should take a minute. Okay, now you want to go back. To install from zip, go back to the download folder where you just went, and click the Google Apps, and install that. And then you're done. I want to go down and go back. Reboot. And it should reboot. Sound your my logo. first boot will take longer than if you normally turn off, turn back on, or restart it or whatever. Just be patient. And there you have it. Let me go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi password in. Put a Gmail in.
Okay, since that's complete. I'm not really sure why it loaded that wallpaper. But that's a wallpaper of the Nexus logo I made. Let me turn the screen down. Okay. As you can see, 4.2. Two fingers. To prove that it is 4.2. There you have it, 4.2. This is how you root the T-Mobile Galaxy S3 and upgrade to 4.2 Jelly Bean. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. I'll be sure to get back at you. And remember, comment, subscribe, Thumbs up. I'm ready for the love.